Hey guys, World Editor here. Today we're going to be going over the patch notes for October 20th, 2022. I want to start off by saying I am deeply sorry for not being able to post these past few weeks uh, for the patch notes. I know some of you guys actually look forward to these and I do apologize, but I do plan to get these out on the weekly basis like they once were starting from now on moving forward. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We're going to check out the post on Discord to see what the patch is all about. Okay, here we have a post from Coffee. It's gonna be the October 20th, 2022 patch notes. And the first thing it starts off with is something that's very awesome that I'm excited to show you guys, because this is for everyone. Due to the server being down on October 18th for extended maintenance, a global comp will be made available in the shop for one gold. For the next week, <laughs> we apologize for any inconveniences. We genuinely appreciate your patience with this process and are thrilled to be able to grant 1,000 gems and a buck gore to everyone. Now, before I continue off with the patch notes, guys, this is awesome. I will go ahead and show you guys where to claim that, how to claim it, and honestly, 1,000 gems alone is great, and the buck gore is even better. Six hours, I think a 600% boost for everything is amazing. But let's go ahead and continue on with the patch notes. Halloween is here. Sardinex is here to bring some spooky fun. Find pump coins throughout the game and exchange them with Sardinex for thrilling rewards. The shop will be featuring some awesome sales for the next two weeks, included discounted gotchas, gem sales, and more. PvP will have double drop this week. This means double the experience, gold, and coins. Now, very quick, just to go ahead and throw that in there, it does not affect callers, just in case anyone is wondering. Trial and Gauntlet are still boosted, which is amazing. I'm pretty sure since it's Gauntlet now, and they're expecting Trials in the next one, that they're going to have Trials boosted as well next week, but don't quote me on that just yet, but that's what it seems like. New fishing, gauntlet, and GVG events have begun, which we'll take a look at right now. An even bigger trials boost is coming soon. Honestly, all in all, this is all very exciting. Let's go ahead and check out the rewards. Okay, we're gonna start it off with PVP, then we're gonna go to GVG, gauntlet, fishing, check out the shop, and after that, we'll go to the Halloween event. So first off with PVP, it is going to be a team of three this week. The rewards are going to be Skeletal Lining, along with Regulators, Brainstem, and Micron Chippos. Hopping over to GVG, the reward is going to be a Mount, Component Cream, Critter Jelly, and Mount Guts. That's honestly super awesome. Let's go on by to Gauntlet, and we're going to see that we get a Relic Rune, along with all three Fragment Types, that being Ancient, Elemental, and Rune. To finish it off, we're going to go to Fishing check out the rewards and it's going to come with stat points brain stems seashells and gems let's check out this shop so the shop honestly it doesn't have crazy amount of stuff right now but it does have some stuff as you see here i have an awesome flash sale if you guys have this it's great uh 270 compared to 300 it's not that big of a sale but it's still a sale if you were looking to buy mount guts if this pops up and you need mount guts it's a perfect time to buy it now everyone needs to get this right now global comp one gold i think they said it's going to be here for a week let's go ahead and click on it you can see here it comes with 1k gems and a buck core increases your item find experience capture rate gold find and movement speed by 600 percent for six hours this is a very good boost honestly for anything you can use it to capture familiars um to push invasion if you want to get some experience um for anything really it's great you can even use it in a raid it's perfect it's awesome let's go ahead and go on to everything else that's here there's a bunch of stuff that we've seen here before here's hollow's eve pack I personally want to buy this because it is a cow getting abducted kind of skin, so it looks pretty cool. This pet is going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Or accessory, sorry. It looks like an accessory. Yeah, accessory. So I am definitely going to snag this just for the cosmetics alone. It comes with three of every type of energy minus PvP tickets, if you haven't noticed. But everything else here is still pretty good. And it also comes with a gore that lasts for 168 hours. And if I'm not mistaken, that is seven days. So increase your item find, experience, capture rate, gold find, and movement speed by 250%. 
for 168 hours. That is a very good boost. And honestly, the best time to use these boosts is whenever they have weeks where everything is amplified more than normal. So if it's an item find, an experience and stuff like that, your 250 will be added onto that plus their normal bonus, making this gore a very, very compelling gore to use. Very, very nice bundle. I love the cosmetic it comes with. We have the PvP push pack, which is going to come with 10 take it rolls, a butt gore, and 5 stat points. I see they're bringing butt gores back, which is awesome. I love butt gores. Now, do I recommend this pack? If you really want this pack, it's only because you're going to be pushing for a PvP reward or if you're trying to get the champion's pack. So, I only recommend this if you're going to stockpile it and then use it later. I'd never recommend just popping tickets, but then again, that's for y'all to decide on what you want to do with your stuff. It's not too bad of a deal, but PvP tickets go very fast, so this $30 is going to feel like nothing. So just know that tickets, you, you fly through pretty fast, but 10 ticket rolls is pretty nice. So it's all in all, it's an okay deal. Let's go ahead and skip these. We've seen these. Let's go to the large event pack. So I like the energy types. I just don't like the gore it comes with. So I just wish it came with something a little stronger. Bite gores are okay, but... If I'm going to be honest with you, most players don't really use Bite Gores for a big push or anything at all. I personally use it on regen on a day with item find. So um, I just wish this was in the medium and the medium was in the small. And I wish this came with like an Odegore or something um, or even a Buck Gore or a Big Gore even. That'd be great. I'm not sure if that's too much to ask for. Do I think it's an okay pack? It's okay. I like the amount of resources you get. It's not too bad. I just, again, I don't really like the gore. So that's entirely up to y'all. Um, we've seen the adventure bags. The weekly gem orb is $1,500 for $10. I always recommend. And we have the Ultra Chicken Lucky Ice Boost Sun Box. Go ahead and check it out. It's going to be the best box we have in the game. I always recommend rolling this, whether it's 1,000 gems, 1,250. Honestly, even up to 1500, I would roll this probably. This is an amazing, amazing box. I highly recommend everyone roll this if you are into rolling gotcha. Stuff is going to be discounted, and yeah, just keep an eye out for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last thing on the list, which is going to be the Halloween event. You can either click top right here or go outside. I'm personally going to go outside. Oh man, let's take a look at all this. This is super cool. Look at how awesome this town looks. This looks sick. I love, I love when they do stuff like this. This is amazing. Ooh, okay. We're going to have to talk to a bunch of the guys here soon. But let's just take a look at this. This looks super sick. Oh man. I wish they were in costumes. <laughs> but I can tell why they're not. They're pretty much already their own costumes. This is so cool. I love the bushes in this little costume. Wow. Bunch of cool little skins and stuff. Stuff I've never seen before. This is an awesome looking mount. I hope we can get that very easily. Okay, so <laughs> that's pretty much the town right now. We'll take a look at Fishing Island to see if there's anything different there. But first, we're going to click on Sardinex down here. Awesome. Sardinex gave us a bunch of goodies already. That's already extremely hype. Okay, you're going to be pr pretty much be getting one of everything, which is awesome. Let's talk to him again. Mwahaha. Happy Halloween, hero. Hope you have a lovely evening, or two, or fifteen. <laughs> I've scattered pump coins across the bitland, and I've gathered many, many outfits from all over it. Gather them and bring them back to me, and I may consider selling you some. So it seems like he has a lot of cool little cosmetics, and to be honest, these are all great. I, I have some of the older ones. Oh wow, they have a lot of stuff. Oh wow. Okay, that's cool. This hot dog one is awesome if you guys don't have it. The inflatable sumo is awesome. Honestly, all of this stuff is, is super clean. I'm definitely going to have to come back and collect all of these myself. I really like the dinosaur one that I saw back there, so I'm definitely snagging that one. Let's go ahead and check out the other tab. So they have regulators, critter jelly, component cream, rune fragments, mount guts, stat points, major item find scroll, major experience tomb, major gold potion, major speed kicks and here is where it gets a little cool and a little lame at the same time we have a bit gore which is amazing and then we have pinions which i'm not so sure i like i'm not really too sure on how hard it is for most players to get it out there but i have a ton of these and i wish i didn't so if you need these that's great if you don't 
that's unfortunate but the good thing is it saves you 450 or i guess 900 in the end if you're not going to get these and then you see mythic collars now mythic collars guys buy these like i'm not even going to say it just buy these on the big gore and that's pretty much your main priority it's going to be these two the bit gore and the mythic collar so that's pretty much going to be it here for the halloween event i want to see if we can talk to these guys and they'll give us stuff oh okay so i'm talking to the guys in town how did you find me <laughs> okay so it seems like if you just talk to these guys in town you get some coins okay let's check this out gramps oh another 50 coins that's honestly awesome hi hello there i actually can't see anything with this on <laughs> oh they're so funny every time they do their stuff is this like kill bill it looks like he's killed wiggle your big toe wiggle your big pretzel I mean toe. Darn, I'm hungry. Okay, let's check this guy out. Another 50 coins. I think we're going to be getting a ton of coins. Oh, yeah. Another side note. Don't be this guy. Don't be blocking stuff that other people need. What if your enemy is three inches away from you? How would you heat a hot dog or these sweets? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Let's go ahead and check this guy out the vending machine. <laughs> 25 coins, not too bad. Not as much as the other guys. You might think I'm trapped in here, but actually, candy and sodas for all. Wow, candy and sodas for all. Where's the candy? Let's go talk to this guy. Another 50 coins. Trick or treating in this bitverse paradise. Oh yeah. Two more down here. Another 25. Mortals, why do you appreciate things like this trip or trick? Oh, I messed it up. Okay, let's go on to, I believe his name was Zarin. Mwahahaha, the Zarin feels kind. Take this, no need to thank me. I guess the night suits me well. Well, everyone's giving us a bunch of stuff, so that's pretty awesome that they're all very, very nice and humble. Let's check this one out 25 well in the works of stone a predominant concept is the distinction between culture and what ah brains <laughs> i'm having too much fun with this oh the avocado 25 we're so in sync that we always oh okay okay so that means that there's probably someone in the costume at fishing island so we're definitely going to check that out soon We'll go there right now in a second. Let's check out this guy over here. If we can get to him. Where's he at? There he is. 50 coins. 50 big ones. Roar. Triastic power. Oh, man. Okay, cool. There's another one here. 25. I'm so angry. That thing just tried to sell me my old costume. Arr. <laughs> okay. Another 50 coins. Don't I look like a distinguished gentleman? Mmm, yes, very distinguished. I think that's everyone in town. That should be everyone in town. Let's go ahead and head over to Fishing Island to see if there's anyone else there to speak to. Okay, I was correct. There is someone here in a costume. Okay, 25 coins, nice. Finish each other's guacamole. <laughs> okay, that was finishing the sentence for the other one, but that's funny. Noise. So everything here seems pretty cool. I don't think there's anyone else at all. I think that's just about everything. So let's go ahead and get back to town just very quickly. All right, so that's pretty much gonna be everything in the new update. Make sure you speak to everyone I spoke to in town and on Fishing Island. Make sure that you guys save up all your coins and get all the stuff that you really, really want, whether it's the cosmetics, the bit gore, the collars, or anything at all. Try to get everything if you can. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.